Good evening, guys. Hello, hello. Great to see you. Thank you for joining. How are you doing? I think I saw Mr. Reyes. Good evening, Mr. Amaya. Great to see you. Uh, Dalila, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Silvia, how are you doing? Hi, Juan Antonio. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, Jonathan, hi, how are you? Hi, Juan, good evening. How are you guys? Are you okay? Are you fine? Is your Thursday going well? Is everything good so far? Okay, thank you, Silvia. That's okay. Dalila nos debe la canción from yesterday. <laughs> so uh, I was like, wait, we want to listen to your voice. Hi, Ceci. Good evening. How you doing? Thank you for the camera, too. Good evening. All right. So thank you, guys. Really nice to see you. Espero que su, su jueves esté yendo bien or it went very well. Uh, ya casi fin de semana, like Friday is just super close, right? And uh, that means, guys, que estamos terminando la semana número dos. We are finishing week number two, and that's really, really good. Um, now, para ahora, eh, tenemos a lot of things to work on. Vamos a trabajar un poquito eh, expresando, like, some... Eh, some wishes, vamos a trabajar un poquito con would you, uh, I would like or would like para eh, ofrecer, right? Y también para solicitar. So we normally offer and ask. Y vamos a trabajar también un poquito con eh, complaining or returning items. Si alguna vez eh, les han devuelto algún objeto, ustedes lo venden, right? Has no funcionaba or something was wrong. So vamos a revisar un poquito de eh, vocabulario de cómo hablo o um, cómo puedo manejar that kind of situation in English. Un par de vocabulario que utilizamos también para devoluciones, right? Que aplica, what we need to know. And uh, para que empezamos a trabajar with that part. Now, um, to get started, guys, I have here just uh, some questions for you. Um, yesterday, estábamos revisando la parte de may, might, can and could. So I have some questions about your abilities. So veamos who can do some of these activities. Hi, Jorge. Good evening. Thanks for joining. Hi, so, good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello. So give me one second and let me show you here really quick. Okay, guys, so take a look at the first question. It says, can you ride a bicycle? Guys, can you ride a bicycle? Uh, give me an emoji. Me pueden dar un emoji si, si pueden andar en bicicleta, right? Can you ride a bicycle? No, I can't. You can't? Okay, Juan Antonio can. Girls, <laughs> what about women power? Girls, can you ride a bicycle? Boys, Jonathan, can you write one? Ceci, Mr. Amaya, Carlos, no? You can't. No pueden andar en bicicleta, guys? Can you ride a bicycle? No, Ceci? Me not, teacher. Eh, pero creo que, que si, si la agarro, pues la puedo manejar. <laughs> okay. Porque manejo moto. No, hombre, mis. <laughs> Entonces, sí, that's going to be a piece of cake. You, can you ride a motorcycle? Yes. Oh, yes. Very good. That's nice. I admire women, you know, who, who ride motorcycles because it's very dangerous. Okay, cool. Entonces, sí. <laughs> so, yes, you can. Ivan, hi. Good evening, Ivan. Great to see you. Okay, take a look at the following. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Ivan, can you ride a bicycle? Yes, teacher. I can. Oh, okay, Ivan can. So, Ceci, Dalila, what about you? I couldn't hear you. I can. You can. Okay. Yeah, sir. 
People say that lo que difícil, I don't know cómo va el proverbio, but like lo que difícil se aprende, difícil se olvida, something like that, right? So I don't know if that's the case, but I can ride a bicycle. Aprendí ya de anciana, you know, <laughs> now that I'm old, but, but yeah. What about the second one? Can you swim, guys? Can you swim? I just remember Ivan yesterday because dijo que se había hecho el paso del hombre, and I'm like, wow. What about the rest of you guys? Can you swim, Juan Antonio? El paso de qué dijo? El paso del hombre. Eso no me lo puedo. Oh, el paso del hombre is a con, I don't know, like a marathon or like a competition that is organized by Cruz Roja, by the Red Cross in El Salvador. And normally, um, Ivan, corríjame because I don't remember. So if it, mm. it is from El Puerto to Mahahual or Mahahual to El Puerto, how does it go? El uh, Puerto al Mahahual. Okay, so from El Puerto muy, to El Mahahual. Muy, muy de la libertad. Del port, the port. Sí, okay. Okay, to, uh, to Mahawal, right? So how long is it, Ivan? One hour, two hours? ¿Cuánto tiempo tomó? Like, how, how much time did you take? Eh, son aproximadamente dos horas. Ah, okay, two hours. So, yeah. <laughs> Solamente, guys. <laughs> so it's only two hours <laughs> swimming. So a eso se le llama el paso del hombre. So, yeah. Ivan, are you a... Uh, um, es... Pero se dijo que había sido guardavidas, right? No? Eh, sí, sí. Sí, estuve como dos años en la playa del Mahahual. Oh, con la sí. Red Cross. Eh, Cruz Verde. Ah, okay, so Green Cross, okay. Oh, okay, yes. okay, okay. That's <laughs> nice. Ya no, lo, ya no lo hace, you don't do it anymore? Um, no, desde que comencé la U, dejé de, 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 de estar mucho más tiempo en la playa. Ah, okay. ¿Vivía o vive cerca de la playa? Do you live very close to the beach? Uh, do you live uh, Playa El Tunco? You live in Playa El Tunco? Yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Prácticamente ahí duerme. In the, it, in the water. It, ah, okay. Ida, Ida y working a uh, Playa El Tunco también. Eh, en un were... restaurante. Ah, okay. Restaurant a uh, Boca Olas. Boca Olas. Boca Olas. Okay. Okay, I don't go to El Tunco very often. Guys, Anido, have oh. you ever been there? ¿Ya conocen a Iván? Do you know Iván face to face? <laughs> Probably they don't. Okay, vocabulary. Okay, so next time on vacation, we'll visit you, Iván. <laughs> okay, that's really nice. Guys, what about the rest? Can you swim? Pueden nadar? Can you float? I can. Yes, you can. Yes, yes, yes okay, you can. Okay, okay, everybody can do it. So, so, to so, so. Surfear también. <laughs> oh, you can surf. That's really cool. Pues sí, es que Iván ya casi tiene las aletas. You know? <laughs> ya no you just need a little. Ay, okay, so <laughs> incorporado, I imagine. Oh, one question, Iván. Uh, normally, la, las personas de la costa, right, uh, so tienen el, el color del cabello bien genial, like very, very nice. Is your hair like that? Como dorado? Kind of tan or, I don't know, blonde? O es mi turbano? Y va Muéstranos su cabello. <laughs> no, what I'm asking is that normally las personas de la costa, el cabello les tiende a cambiar tono, right? So they have like, um, like a blonde hair color. Son como rubios. So is your hair color blonde? ¿Tiene cabello no, rubio? No. No, I don't know, teacher. No se ve. Va. 
Ah, ok. No, but solo, it's Solo broncea, bronceado. Eh, ajá, yo creo que por la cámara we cannot see you, but... Eh, oh, pero sí tiene test, test bronceada. Sí. Ah, ok. Are, are you in el Tunco right now? Um, sí. Uh, I'm sorry. Pero no, uh, right now, are you in your house? Are you at el Tunco? Está en la está en la playa o are you like está en esa zona? Are you in that part? Uh, ahorita no estoy como a unos un kilómetro y medio de la playa. Ay, pues está bien cerca. <laughs> But you're very close. Ajá, es que le pregunto por qué en su audio no se escucha la la playa, right? No se escucha en las olas. So, uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. So guys, ya sabemos. Then we do know. <laughs> okay. Take a look at the solo, next ability. Solo en el yes. trabajo. Ah, okay. Mándenos yes. foto de la playa tomorrow, you know. Maybe, uh, tal vez no ya motiva, les mando. right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> pues ya les mando this, algunas. You know. Yeah, we can get some really nice motivation. Okay, guys. Look at number three. Can you write your name without looking at the paper? Uh, can you write without looking? Is this something you can do? Or can you do it with your left hand? Guys, ¿hay alguien acá que es zurdo? Are you left-handed? Nobody. Nobody is left-handed? No. ¿No tenemos zurdos? No. No. Can you write without looking? ¿Pueden escribir sin ver? Can you write without looking? Like no. looking at the paper? Yo creo que no me queda bien. <laughs> Okay. Not okay. Okay. Like so, so. Okay. Okay. You know, yesterday, no teníamos como like, oh, what can I say? My abilities are. Look, these are some very cool abilities we get. Look at the next one. Can you stand on one foot for more than 30 seconds? Guys, can you stand on a foot? Like a standing? Can you stand? Oh, yeah. Let's throw a little rodilla. Does it crack? <laughs> <laughs> like, can you stand on a foot? With my left, yes, teacher. <laughs> With my right, no. <laughs> ah, okay. So the left one is okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I can still do it, but yes, I know, I know, I know. Next one, it says, can you remember their names uh, when you meet new people? Uh, guys, do you remember names? So, bueno, recordando nombres, can you remember the name of the people you meet? No? Yes. All right, so Yvonne, yes, you got a good memory. Yes. In the rest, you know, I am terrible. I am terrible with names, pero yo recuerdo rostros. I remember faces. I can see your face and I'm like, ¿de dónde lo conozco? ¿De dónde la conozco? Right? And, and I'm like trying to remember. Pero con los nombres, I'm terrible. I'm really, really bad with names. So, what about you guys? Are you good with names or faces? Faces, teacher. Faces. Faces. Okay. okay. Guys, ¿cuál es mi nombre? What's my name? Julia. Julia. Ah, there you. <laughs> Porque la odio, right? <laughs> in the, oh, in the, assign, uh, in the uh, location and everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, look at this one. Can you cook anything delicious? Guys, what are your abilities when cooking? What can you cook that is super delicious? I cook, uh, how do you say pasta de pollo, teacher? A pasta. Pasta. Yes, 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 sir. Para untar. Pasta. Para ah, untar. Ah, okay. Like, um, spread? Yes, but mm, that would be like a dressing, like a, like a chicken dressing. Yes. Oh, like when you make sandwiches. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like a sort of dressing. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, okay, looks good. It sounds really delicious. Guys, do you, what can you cook that is delicious? Lasagna. Okay, lasagnas. So pasta, well, yeah, a sort of pasta. Uh, lasagna in the rest. Men, women, what can you cook? Dessert. Ah, oh, what kind? Cakes or cheesecake? Oh, that's super delicious. Okay, so cheesecake. <laughs> but do you cook? Do you make it for your family or do you sell? For my family. Okay, you make it for your family. Okay, yeah, desserts are really delicious. Uh, what about the rest? Boys, can you cook? Maruchan does not count, so try, <laughs> you have to make it. Yes. Oh, I remember, I remember. Mr. Amaya, what can you cook? Um, pollo and salsa jalapeña. Oh, okay. Okay, that sounds actually very delicious. I love jalapenos. Yes. Okay, um, Jorge, imagine that you participate in MasterChef. <laughs> nah, what, no, what, would be, what would be your signature? Uh, I, I try talking, teacher, I try. Okay, but that's important, right? That you give it a try and you like it. Okay, okay, very nice. So we have very nice dishes here. Next one, guys, can you sing? Quedamos pendientes con Dali Leather, but what about the rest? Can you sing? No. No, no nobody? No. No. Ni en el baño. No. ¿Quién nos iba a cantar la canción de Bad Bunny? Ah, Joel, right? That was Joel, but I don't think he's here. Hi, Maynor. Hi, Silvia. Hi, hi, hi. Good Hi, evening. Teacher. Hello, guys. How you doing? It's very good, date. I'm glad to hear that. Why? But it's in, in amazing my job. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's really nice. Especially because it's just Thursday and you're, got, you're having a good day. Very good. Okay, um, Dalila, I'm sorry, I'm going to bother you for a moment. So, uh, I, yesterday, recuerdo que mencionó that you have a soprano voice. Uh, I don't know what it is. So, can you tell us about it? Hi, boy. So, uh, Dalila nos puede contar, can you tell us what is soprano or what does it mean? Un mezzo, un mezzo soprano es como digamos en la entrada media de teclados son, son por escalas y okay. un soprano es el que se pasa después de las escalas del teclado que es super alta sí este son tres escalas más las que yo paso de voz oh interesting okay can you sing us a chorus <laughs> can you show us your abilities <laughs> so like 10 seconds miss i don't know any any song you like say it in english much better um no me puedo ninguna en inglés <gasps> más que todo en español las canto <laughs> Why? You have to sing in English. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Can you sing it? Can you can you show us your, your abilities? Solo de segundos, miss. Just like, like a chorus. Uh -huh, un coro. Just a chorus. No, no ha calentado la voz. Exacto, no ha calentado la voz. Me falta calentarla. Okay. No, no worries, ya vamos a practicar y, y después you can, you can prepare it. <laughs> that, that's really nice. And you mentioned that you have a, you have a CD, right? You have like an album? Es que como lo que pasa es que como yo me gané una beca de canto y cada ciclo el que yo terminaba, que eran como seis ciclos, uno tenía el derecho de poder grabar una canción. Entonces el productor me sacó un sencillo. Eso fue como por el, hace como unos cinco años, se podría decir. Here in the country. Sí, acá es, era una organización de una iglesia. Entonces como yo este, cantaba en el, 
En la iglesia. Exacto, entonces eh, cuando yo cantaba, este, forzaba demasiado la voz. Entonces en uno de esos, mis padres decidieron este, inscribirme en un cursillo de canto y pues gracias a Dios, eh, el productor me dijo, no, tú tienes un gran talento muy alto, entonces vente, te vamos a promover absolutamente de todo. Entonces ellos cancelaron y todo. Y al final, este, pues se quedaron dándome las becas. Fueron como tres años los que fui. Wow, that was a lot. So that was a, so the kind of music that you have is like worship music? Yeah. Like, um, so it's worship. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it down. Eh, guys, para que no sea la, una palabra nueva, so worship es como música de adoración, right? Or like Christian music or something like that. So it is like, like this kind of music. Como? Como cristiana, like Christian sí. or worship. Okay, so it's worship. Cristiana. Okay, okay. Okay, that, that's actually very nice. Wow, really, really cool. No sabía que acá, you know, in the country, um, habían like super. Eh, sí, let me check this. But really, I, I'm really glad, you know. And uh, so, piensa seguir eh, or su um, carrera musical or something? Pues fíjese que sí he eh, querido retomar otra vez el privilegio en la iglesia, pero como por mi trabajo casi no mucho me permite ir, porque como a veces algo noche, me toca turnos de noche y como en una iglesia se necesita constante, entonces oh, okay. no se podría ir por el momento. Well, but then you have the talent and you got to, to explode it, right? A little more. Okay, I'm really happy to hear that. Okay, guys, thank you so much for sharing a little about your stories. And the last one we have is what can't you do at all? So guys, look at the last question. What is something that you can't do at all? But para nada, right? So, talking about abilities or skills, que no pueden hacer, pero para nada. What is something that you cannot do, guys? I can't play any instrument. You can't play, I me neither. <laughs> yeah, not even guitar, ni los platillos, nothing. <laughs> okay, yeah, I feel like that. I feel you, okay. Guys, what about the rest? What is something that you can't do at all? Like you try, you try, and you can't. Nothing. You got no like uh, abilities you would like to try. So, you, yes, Sandra, you, El, I, yeah. I can't. Uh... Driver, or I, I can to. I. You can't drive a car. Yes, I can. Okay, so you can't drive a car. But uh, so, did you go to classes? Did you try? I tried, <laughs> but <laughs> I can't. Do you I get nervous? Yes. Okay, so you just get nervous. Oh, but you, you can practice more, right? And, and you'll be good. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. But I know the feeling because eh, I cannot ride the my motorcycle. So ya intenté and creo que me pasa lo mismo. I think the same feeling I get, o me falta confianza o seguridad, right? Something. Uh -huh, okay. Okay, okay. Any, anybody else? Do you want to share, Joel? Yeah, good evening. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, I can I can uh, uh, paint a car. You can paint. I paint a car. Okay. Did mm -hmm. you try? Mm, uh, and, and, and my job. Uh, ah, okay. Do you I work do. in a garage? 
en, en, un, ta, en, en un taller. En uh -huh. el garage. Ajá. Uh -huh. Garage. Ah. Yes, ah, yes, okay. yes, 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 eh, I pay a car, I, I repair a car. Okay, and, and you can't. Uh, okay, sí, yeah. Y saco, saco golpes de los carros, los enderezos. Oh, wait, entonces si sí puedes, so you can do it. Yeah, yes, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, desde, oh, desde, so desde los, desde, nice. eh, ¿cómo se dice desde los 15 años? Sin. Since sí. I was 15. I was 15. Uh -huh. Ajá. Desde, desde, desde ese entonces trabajo de eso. Oh, ok, wait. So you can, you, how do you say enderezador y pintor? Yeah, I think that's the one. So that would be like paint. But let me find if there is any specific name for that job. Uh, person who okay let me, let me just make sure because you're not a mechanic ah okay so the name is auto paint technician oh that's a new word i learned today so auto auto paint technician Oh, very interesting. Okay. Uh, so, Joel, I don't know why, but tenía la idea que usted trabajaba en, administra en una área administrativa. I have no idea why. No, so, no, desde, desde, que, desde los 15 años trabajo de eso. Es un como trabajo con un negocio, con un tío. Ah, desde, but that's good. Desde entonces nos de, hemos dedicado a eso. Y estamos But that's estudiando really siempre. Nice. Ajá, no, it's really important because tiene una occupation and va a tener su carrera. You're going to have the career. Good, really, really cool. Okay, okay, okay. So, very nice job, guys. Thank you for sharing this with us. I'm not going to show you the rest because they are like very similar. So, take a look a little bit at part of the activities for today. Vamos a revisar un poquito el vocabulario that we have. And because eh, vamos a tratar de um, dar reembolsos or to have similar situations para dar reembolsos, right? And this is part of the vocabulary que normalmente se utiliza. Cuando cambiamos objetos, cuando devolvemos algo que no está en buenas condiciones, right? So take a look at them. And uh, uh, let's also check si hay algo nuevo, if there is new vocabulary, o ustedes ya las conocen, right? So we have the first one that is carry, we have defect, we have exchange, irritating, model, policy, ship, store, credit, refund, and warranty. So uh, guys, uh, carry, what is the meaning of carry? I don't understand carry. Okay, okay, guys, can you help us? What is carry? Like, llevar. Okay, yes, exactly. So, carry is exactly like that, like llevar, right? So, si les pregunto, what do you carry uh, to your work? What do you carry to your office? My bag. Okay. Computer. Okay. A bottle of water. Okay. Okay, Something. very nice. Exactly. That is carry, right? So, de un lugar hacia otro, like to carry, llevar, andar llevando. Um, so, what about the rest of you guys? What do you carry to work? My lunch. Ah, me too. <laughs> okay, so your lunch box. Bag. Cookies, yes. <laughs> your bag, uh -huh. um, candies. Ah, okay, yes, they are very important. <laughs> okay, so candies, cookies, anything else, guys? And uh, llevan algo diferente? Do you carry something different to your work? Yes, teacher. What do you carry? <laughs> I carry the uh, 
protection, ¿cómo le llaman a eso? Porque es protección, eh, mi, mi equipo de protección. Eh, ah, your PPE. Ah, exactly. Eh, my, el casco, botas. Y, ah, ok. Y mi chaleco. Wait, lo, ¿ya se los lleva puesto? ¿You wear eh, them? Yes. Or you carry? Mm, eh, va, digamos, I care, dependiendo a qué zona voy. Ajá. Eh, porque eh, mi casco es como una gorra, pero okay. es de protección. Entonces, okay. esa, esa, eh, a veces salgo desde la casa porque para, si no se me anda cayendo por todos lados, entonces yo okay. no solamente me lo ubico y me la, me, me la llevo. Pero de ahí, las botas y todo eso las llevo adicionales. Hay que la ando oh. cargando. Ajá, en el so, vehículo. Su, su, ah, ok. Yeah, ah, yeah, es mi, so, no es me, mi equipo. No me lo imaginaba que en una mochila mm, todo eso. No. <ríe> ok. Ok, guys, that's a very nice thing. So, how do you say casco? Entonces, mm, tenemos uh -huh. casco de motos, right? Y tenemos ese tipo de casco de seguridad. De protección, uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, how do you call it? ¿Alguna uh -huh. idea? Can, can we help uh, Silvia, guys? Ayúdenos, help us. ¿Alguien lo sabe? Do you know it? Nobody. Okay, so se los dejo, guys. Pueden investigarlo. You can investigate it and you can check it really quick. So, by the way, no es helmet. So, it is not helmet. Tiene un nombre diferente, but comienza siempre con H. So, if you get it, that would be very nice, but it is not helmet. Okay, um, then she is carrying her botas. How do you say botas, guys? Boot. Ok, very good. So we got the boots. ¿Qué más andabas? Eh, mi chaleco de protección. Ok. So Efectivo. We, ok, uh -huh. so that would be a vest. So we can call it a, a vest. Or a security or a safety. Normalmente les agregamos a ellos la palabra safety antes, right? Safety boots or safety vest. Uh -huh. Ok. Y les dejo de tarea, guys, cómo decir casco. Ok. Um, then we got the next one that is defect, right? In Spanish, usamos esta palabra too, que es defectuoso, in bad conditions, right? So it has some defects or something is bad. Um, from this line, identifican todas las palabras. Do you know them? Exchange. And what is exchange? Como reparar, teacher. Como cambio. Okay, okay yes. Ah, es sí, cambiar o intercambiar, uh -huh. right? Like, uh, no me gusta este color. I don't like it. Can I exchange it, right? Puedo intercambiarlo. Can I exchange it? Um, irritating. What is irritating? Irritante. Exactly. Yeah, bien, bien difícil. <laughs> yes, irritating, right? So, Algo que me molesta, something that is upsetting, right? Or, yeah, so that would be irritating. Model, like in Spanish, el modelo. Then we have a policy. So, todas las empresas tienen políticas, right? De devoluciones, cuando se devuelve, and that is a policy. So, una política, right? Uh, pero en cuestiones de, de um, patrones establecidos o normas establecidas de cuando va a ser o va a haber devolución de, de un producto, right? That is a policy. Um, so be careful, se parece mucho a policía, but it is not, es una política, right? That's a, a different word. Uh, then we have ship. Creo que vimos al inicio shipping. Do you remember the meaning of shipping or ship? What is shipping or what is ship? Envío. Exactly. So ship, envío or shipping that is also envío, right? We have a store. What is that? Mm -hmm. so, yes. 
Esto es la tienda. Exactly. Very good. Then we have credit. I think the word Credito. is really easy. Yes, we don't. It's not hard for us. Oh my God, no había visto guys que ya estaban con todo en el grupo. <laughs> okay. Estamos excuse. haciendo negocio, Tich. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no me había fijado. I haven't paid attention. Okay. And we have this other word that is refund, right? That is el reembolso o reintegro de dinero. Tenemos reimbursement too, but refund is okay. And the last one that is the warranty. So guys, repitan conmigo, please. Repeat with me. Carry. Carry. Thank you. Defect. Defect. Exchange. 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 Irritating. 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 Okay, ahora cambiamos la P. Irritating. Irritating. Very good. Model. Model. Policy. Policy. Ship. Tor. 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 Remember the la S casi no se escucha, pero está eso. Tor. Uh, Tor. Tor. Ready? Tor. Ready? Ready? Refund. 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 And warranty. Warranty. Okay. Very good. Vamos a utilizarlas en un momento. And, uh, but. Give me one second. Creo que I didn't share this with you. Um, I have one exercise for you, but se los comparto en un momento because that is additional. All right, guys. So, preguntas con el vocabulario. Do you have any question? Hay otra palabra que sea nueva? Any anything else? Eh, la wa, wa, warranty es garantía, teacher. Yes, that is right. So, warranty es la garantía. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Okay. Ya vamos a utilizarlas, guys. So no worries about it because we got to practice this a little more. Now, uh, what happens si hay algo que no me gusta y quiero cambiarlo? So sometimes expreso lo que yo quiero, what I want, con una expresión bien particular que es I would like. Eh, los que ya completaron la la le lección o los ejercicios, right? In session number two, um, se podrán recordar de I would like, I wouldn't like. So normally cuando quiero algo, que quiero cambiar un producto, for example, uh, me gustaría intercambiarlo, me gustaría un reembolso, utilizo I would like for that. I would like a refund. I would like to exchange the product. I would like to go to a store. So would like, lo utilizo para decir eso, right? Pero también puedo ofrecer, uh, sometimes, utilizando would like. Take a look at the following conversation. Uh, in, this, in this specific scenario, estoy ofreciendo. So vamos a trabajar el would like para ofrecer cosas que te gustaría, right? Y para pedir también. So um, this is like a restaurant. And uh, we are asking for, or this person, the man in this case, está ofreciendo, is offering some things. Let me read it, y luego me ayudan a leerlo. So it says here, what would you like to drink? So le estoy ofreciendo, right? Uh, como cuando tienen visitas, what would you like to drink? I'd like a nice tea, please. Do you want sugar with that? No. But I'd like some lemon. Would you like a straw? Este es un straw. Would you like a straw? Nothing. And that's it. So take a look at this one. Guys, repeaten conmigo, please. What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? Very good. And now, este pedacito es la contracción. I can say, I would like. So I repeat with me. Like. I would like. 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 Hey now, vamos a hacer la contracción, es cortito y vamos a enrollar solo la lengua. Add like. 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 Add
And I what about this one? Would you like a straw? Would you, like you like the straw? Would you like the straw? Okay. Um, so, pretty much, esa es la parte de wood, right? So, estoy ofreciendo. I am offering. Eh, pero también yo digo que es lo que me gustaría. Take a look at the following conversation. Uh, here we have a different scenario. No están ofreciendo anymore. But, eh, están hablando de lo que a ellos les gustaría. What they would like to do. So again, we have the man. Let me read it and then we, uh, we will practice this. It says, where would you like to live in the future? I'd like to live in the country. A country, um, country es la forma corta de decir countryside y nos referimos a como un pueblo, right? Como eh, los lugares más alejados de la ciudad como el campo, la zona rural, so ese es el country. I would like to live in the country. What would you do? I'd have a farm. Oh, this is a farm. I'd have a farm, right? Uh, that would be fun. Yeah, I want to grow my own food. Guys, would you like to live in, the, in a farm? ¿Les gustaría eh, tener una granja? Would you like to have a farm? Yes, I like Or like farm. a finquita. <laughs> yes, yes, right? <laughs> yes, of course. I like to... Yeah, definitely. I would like, so a mí me gustaría tener, no sé, una vaca, you know? I would like to have a cow. What about you guys? What would you like to, to have? Would you like to have animals or cattle? Reses de ganado? No. Horses? I like the, the sweet, the fruit. Yes. What fruit? What kind of fruit? It's a uh, banana. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Orange. Okay. A lemon. Oh, yes, me too. Manguito. I, I, yeah. <laughs> well, Miss, pero ya no es un, un terrenito, es un terreno. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Eh, That's really nice. Ay, sí. Amo la, lo, lo que es... Eh, The country. Fruta y la, sí, pero también amo esa parte de que usted puede tener los árboles frutales o de, de algún tipo de alimento, eh, como gallina, yes. eh, duck, <ríe> ah, yes. porque, no puedo, porque no puedo, pero sí puedo, eh, dog, cat, y todos esos, y me gusta. Yes, no, I, but that's so real, and here I in San Salvador, like, mm -hmm. no se puede tener ni gatos, no, no, I love the gat. <ríe> Ah, ok. So, exactly. So, what Silvia mentions es la respuesta a esta pregunta. What would you do? ¿Qué harías, right? Oh, I would like to have a farm. Or I'd have a farm. I want to grow my own food. So, she mentions like to have fruit, to have some vegetables. Um, in my case, I really like uh, lemons. So, I would like to have a lot of lemon trees, right? So take a look at this one, guys. Eh, repitan conmigo, please repeat with me. Eh, I would I'd like to live in the country. Oh, I like to live in the country. Yes. Remember, country no es país, sino que en este escenario, country es el campo, right? La zona rural. What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be fun. That would, that be, would fun. be fun. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, guys, so vamos, uh, we are going to practice this conversation in groups, but vamos a cambiar las respuestas. We are going to change all the answers here. So, um, for example, what would you like to drink? Uh, vamos a cambiar las respuestas. Right. We're going to... And coffee uh -huh. and milk. Exactly. We're going to like modify all the answers and the, we are going to change everything. Give me one second. 
Mm, 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 mm. Ok, there we go. So, tenemos estas dos conversations. La primera estamos ofreciendo um, como comidas, bebidas, right? Acá vamos a modificar drink también porque podemos hacer algo diferente. Like, what would you like to watch? Uh, what would you like to do? What would you like to uh, oh, study? Okay. To listen? Uh, okay. Jorge, perdón. Sorry, teacher. I think. No, dígalo, sé. Es que no le escuché. I couldn't hear you. No, pensé en voz alta, teacher. Sorry. ¿En qué pensó? <laughs> Repeat it. No, no. no, no. Okay. Fue algo, algo así al azar, teacher. Ok, ok. So podemos irle modificando like a lot of things, right? So, um, guys, vamos a ir cinco minutitos. Agréguenle más, agréguenle like more information. Y si aparte de esto le quieren agregar, ¿qué es lo que les gustaría y quieren agregar más información? So recuerden que podemos hacerlo solamente con I would like to. Um, I would like to eat. I would like to drink. I would like to have, right? Y ustedes le van agregando muchas más cosas. If I ask you, hey guys, what would you like to eat tonight? Or what would you like to drink tonight? ¿Qué les gustaría beber? What would you like to drink tonight, guys? This moment, water, mm -hmm. teacher. <laughs> oh, water. Water? Aquatic. Red, red wine. Oh, I got it now. <laughs> es cierto. Jorge, Jorge is the, the wine boy. <laughs> okay. I would like to have, I don't know, está muy tarde, but maybe a coffee, but like a really delicious, um, maybe iced coffee or something. So, uh, guys, invéntenselo, agréguenle, right? Y vayamos practicando this part. Tenemos cinco minutitos, vayan agregándole más detalles. Uh, después de tres minutos les voy a cambiar la conversación para que hagamos lo mismo. So we can do it and we can practice as much as we can. So, vamos guys, there, ay, permítanme, give me one second. One, two, three, four. Guys, si alguien eh, está como oyente, please escríbamelo en el chat para saber y no, eh, para que no me dejen solitos a los demás compañeros. Ok, guys, vamos a los grupos, please go to the groups. Les estoy enviando la invitación para que se puedan unir. So you can go and join the groups. So tenemos cinco minutos, we got five minutes to practice, and then we come back. So go ahead, guys.
Already, guys, thanks a lot for coming back. I think that the practice was really interesting. <laughs> I learned a lot. <laughs> so, escuché comidas, you know, I was like, oh my God. So, I heard food, drinks uh trips and everything that was really interesting really really cool but we gotta move on so okay um so escuché que estaban ofreciendo different kind of food <laughs> and different kind of drinks right that was pretty interesting so let's take a look at this conversation veamos qué es lo que tienen guys let's see what you came up with I'm going to cover this part because la idea is que no, no la leamos, right? No la copiamos, sino que you can be creative y puedan improvisar un poquito. So you can um, improvise a little bit here. So give me one second. Let me just go to the previous one. There you we go. Okay. Uh, so uh, can I help the volunteers? Guys, ¿quién quiere, who wants to present? Eh, pueden improvisar sin problema. You can also like improvise without a problem. Dalila. <laughs> Practicamos <Ay>. nosotros. <laughs> bien, <laughs> Bye, perfect. Solo voy a cubrirles, you know, lo que teníamos antes. So we can eh, practice this part. Give me one second. Uy, ¿qué le pasó a esto? Where, what is going on with this? Okay, so what would you like? Nos quedamos hasta like, right? I would like. And uh, so remember, guys, normalmente eso lo utilizo eh, cuando voy a ofrecer la pregunta. What would you like? Es porque estoy ofreciendo. So I am offering something. And, y ahí le puedo agregar más información. Or, eh, si no sé qué es lo que quieren, pero yo quiero ofrecerle como te gustaría comer algo, eh, también puedo hacer este tipo de preguntas, right? I can also ask eh, for these kind of questions. Ya se las escribo in the chat para que les quede por ahí. So, normally, si voy a preguntar, esto es como, what would you like, right? Pero si no, puedo preguntar, would you like something? to eat. Uh, como bien general, ¿te gustaría comer algo? Would you like something to drink? ¿Te gustaría beber algo, right? Eh, or would you like something, I don't know, podemos ir cambiando la pregunta, but esto es bastante general as well. Okay, girls, let's have el micrófono, classroom is yours, and uh, be creative. Las conversaciones estaban bien interesantes, así que there you go. <laughs> ¿Quién empieza, Adela? Okay. What would you like? Uh, what would you like to eat? I go like eat a uh, chicken. Do you want sauce on the chicken? Uh, no, but I would like a spicy. What would you like, soda? No thanks. Okay. Okay, that was actually very nice. Uh, and Mr. Mr. Uh, and Carlos, creo que lo escuché con ustedes, right? He was with you. Yes, me por ahí está. Ah, okay. Es que, él está es que él se emocionó, right? And he was, he estaba ofreciendo like other kind of thing. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Reyes, haz unas preguntas. So, ¿Qué nos estamos ofreciendo en el grupo? Ay, tú la envidia. Ah, usted está pidiendo. <laughs> so, he's asking, not offering, okay? Yes. Ay, you like 
tequila, decíamos ahí también. But no, but you want to mix them, <laughs> pero sin combinarla, right? <laughs> No, oh, Carlos, es suerte, apenas es jueves. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. but that's actually a very good thing. Very nice. So that's a very good example. So Carlos no estaba ofreciendo. He was not offering, sino que él estaba pidiendo, right? So, mm -hmm. como pido, la, eh, cambio un poquito, él simplemente digo, I would like, right? So yo estoy pidiendo. Very nice. That's actually very good. Okay. Uh, más, uh, ¿Hicieron más preguntas? ¿Do you remember questions? La siguiente conversación. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Va, veamos si alguien más tiene esta o you can help me with the next one. Guys, eh, who, who else wants to share this one? Hubieron muy buenas, en algunos le agregaron más preguntas, so no la limiten, guys. You can, se pueden expandir as much as you want. So... I have group two and group three. Volunteers, or we can select some victims. No more volunteers? Okay, so let me just pick up here. Uh, so from group number two. Um, okay, group two guys, that is Ivan, uh, Yvonne, <laughs> Joel. Creo que Ivan no pudo participar, I'm not sure. Eh, Jonathan, creo que Jonathan couldn't uh, practice with you, pero sí creo que escuché a Silvia en Jorge. Guys, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, this is all yours. Okay, Jorge. So, who starts? Uh, pueden ofrecernos solo comida. You can offer more things. Okay. Eh, con no alguna de mis compañeras, ¿verdad? Perdón. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Pero no sé si Jorge está por acá. Jorge, are you here? Eh, Silvia. Hey. Okay, there he is. There he is. We okay. are, we are. Aquí lo estamos aclamando, Jorge. <laughs> so you can practice with us. <laughs> okay, Sorry. Jorge. What would you like? Eat. Oh. I like um, two Mexican food. Do you want tacos or burritos? Do you want tacos and burritos? Uh -huh. Yes. I will like. You, will you like uh, hot pepper? No, like hot pepper. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you too. I like it. So you included more questions. That was very nice. So there was like burritos, right? Burritos and the other one? And tacos. tacos. Okay, so tacos and burritos. Okay, that sounds very cool. Uh, what else, guys? Uh, and a spicy or hot pepper, right? Como el chile or in the spicy food. That's a very nice yeah. question. Okay, okay. Thank you. That was all right. And guys, vamos con la última. Let's go with the last one. And I have heard the other group so i have in this one karen uh, so sandra and i think i had a sylvia as well right so this is about and oh yes 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 and juan you're right okay so this is a little bit different because como a donde les gustaría vivir right where would you like to live Thank you, Miss. So, obviously, le podemos modificar. We can modify this tanto como queramos. No necesariamente en el campo, but you can say in another country, in Guatemala, you know, or places in El Salvador, or the country 
o en una montaña o cerca del río o en la playa y no haya por donde vivan. We don't know. So you can definitely modify this eh, as you'd like. Eh, okay, guys. So are you ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. No. No, <laughs> okay, well, yes. como, como el juego de cuando decíamos de pequeños. Listo, so no vaya vamos. So let's do it, guys. <laughs> Sandrita, where would you like to live in the future? I'd like to live in Antiguo Cuscatlán. And what would you do? What? What would you do? I would like to, to do everything and uh, with I can to do in this moment. I I like I like to to walk for the park and eat or try eat all the kind of food. Do you like to drink the rompope? Rompope. <laughs> no, ponche, ponche. Ponche. Do you yes, like to I drink? Like Yes, I like it. And what would you like to do in in Christmas in the park? I would like to walk in the park. I like to to see the decoration for Christmas and the and especially for the how do you say nacimiento? Uh that's like Jesus Christ's birth. Uh, yes. Like the bird. Mm -hmm. Yes. That would be fun. Yes. And thank you. You welcome. Me. Yes, and you. I, Where would you I like, would to like to live in the in the country? Because it's it's a goal. It's a goal place for me. It's relaxed. And do you feel free? Juan Antonio. Hi. Where would you like to live in the future, Juan? Mm, I would like in, <laughs> in Paris. No worries, we got it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. In Paris, okay. <laughs> what would you, do you like to do in Paris? ¿Cómo sería, digamos, conocer la cultura de, de... Mm. Okay, like, comenzamos como esto. I would like to, me gustaría. I would like to. Mm -hmm. How do you say conocer? O It? saber. No. Mm -hmm. There you go. So I would like to know. The culture of Paris. Mm -hmm. So Luis, that's it, Juan. The history. Um, okay. The, 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 capi, capi the capital. The capital. Mm -hmm. The capital. Okay. Oh, I would like to get married with a French, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I would go to France just because of that. Okay. Oh, very interesting. So parties. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, do you have more questions for Juan Antonio girls? Starting off. No, teacher. No. Okay, okay. That was actually very nice, guys. I really like it. Because uh, you started sharing ideas already. Because you comenzaron, you know, a compartir de una sola vez what you would like. 
and super independientes. That's very nice, really, really good. So would like is bien bonito. I really like this topic because puedo expresar lo que a mí me gusta o me gustaría hacer, right? Y lo único que necesito es esta parte de acá, que es I would like to, y luego le agrego un verbo, right? So, uh, por ejemplo, me gustaría viajar. I would like to travel. I would like to travel to France. I would like to live in France. Um, si hablo de cosas que no me gustaría hacer o no me gustaría ver, so, puedo utilizar también la forma negativa que es I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to. Ay, no me gustaría estar en tus zapatos. I wouldn't like to be in that situation, right? No me gustaría eh, es vivir en el país o vivir en Estados Unidos, for example. I wouldn't like to live in USA. That's not my country. So, eh, también puedo expresar ideas negativas here. ¿Qué sucede si esta es una pregunta? Preguntas, guys, como ya las hicieron, están súper bonitas, súper fáciles. Para las preguntas, yo utilizo would you like to. El tú, si se fijan, siempre se lo voy a poner y el siguiente verbo no se cambia. Eh, so, ¿Qué sucede si en vez de I es, por ejemplo, she? Oh, look, she would like to. Eso es todo. No va a cambiar nada más. A ella le gustaría, right? Eh, y si es nosotros, a nosotros nos gustaría ordenar. Oh, ok. So I can use we would like to. Sin cambios. So would like to no requiere terceras personas, no requiere pasados. Nothing, guys. So um, vamos a hacer un par de preguntas. We're going to make a couple of questions. So, como las que acabamos de hacer, right? Um, si se fijaban, parte de las preguntas eran, ¿a dónde te gustaría vivir? Where would you like to? Y luego utilizo el verbo. Where would you like to live? Where would you like to live in the future? Yes? I have a question. Yeah, in this case, the verb is in the base form. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Y cuando utilizamos to, el 90% de las veces, después de un tú, el verbo va a ir en su forma base, sin cambio, sin pasado, sin S, sin ningún cambio. Sin ING, right? So, right. solamente tú. To live in that set. Mm -hmm. eh, guys, ayúdenme con preguntas. ¿Qué les quisieran preguntar a los compañeros? What would you like to ask them? What questions can we make? Obviously, eh, si le voy a ofrecer, por ejemplo, comida, eh, I can ask, what would you like to eat? ¿Qué te gustaría comer, right? Or ¿qué te gustaría beber? What would you like to drink? Eh, Mr. Reyes nos decía, oh, oh, would you where, like? Where would you like to, to go? Ah, very good. Where would you like to live or where would you like to go? Ya que vienen las vacaciones, where would you like to go on vacation? ¿A dónde te gustaría ir? Exactly. Okay, guys, pueden agregarme tres más, please. Can you add three more questions using, podemos decirlas o agregarlas solo con would you like, te gustaría, pero esta, si se fijan, es diferente. Would you like to dance? Okay, take a look. Si yo pregunto, would you like to dance? Esto, estoy invitando a alguien. I'm inviting somebody, right? Le estoy ofreciendo que baile conmigo. If I say, for example, would you like some tacos? Como no es una actividad, puedo decir, would you like some tacos? Es porque yo le estoy ofreciendo, hey, ¿qué eres? Right? <laughs> Entonces, es diferente a que pregunte, what would you like to eat? ¿Qué, quieres, qué quisieras comer? No le digo te lo voy a comprar <ríe> o te estoy invitando. En cambio, would you like, esta sí es una invitación. So just be careful, right, because it can be a little confusing. What would you like to eat? Um, so es bien general. No le estoy invitando, solo le estoy preguntando. Pero would you like to? Ma la mayoría de veces ya es una invitación. Like, te quisiera, quisiera ser conmigo, would you like to go? with me, right? Would you like to go with me to the beach? Would you like to go with me to, to El Tunco? <laughs> to visit you one. So I still remember that. So guys, ayúdenme con tres preguntas más, please. Make three more questions.
Go July to go work tomorrow. Okay, let me write it here. So, would you like to go? Eh, okay, me está preguntando or me está invitando. <laughs> That's, es que ese es una muy buena, un buen punto. Entonces sería, what go you, eh, you like to go work tomorrow? Okay, 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 okay. So, solamente guys, como review, revisemos these expressions. So what, nos referimos a cosas, right? Where, a lugares. Eh, when, cuando, cuando te gustaría ir, right? Eh, who, a quien le gustaría. Eh, how, cómo te gustaría. So, cómo te gustaría, I don't know, eh, crear una empresa. Cómo te gustaría ir, hacer algo, right? And tenemos también por qué. So, why would you like? ¿Por qué te gustaría hacerlo? ¿Por qué, um, so like Juan Antonio? ¿Por qué le gustaría ir a París? Why would you like to live in París, right? So, eh, Ceci, su pregunta es, creo que es de ir a trabajar, right? Yes, miss. Ok, eh, perdón, ¿cuál, es, ¿cuál era la pregunta? What was the question? Eh, pero eh, la hice como, what eh, would you like to go work tomorrow? Aunque suena como una invitación. O or, or es el guay. O por qué te gustaría ir a trabajar. Uh -huh. Ok. 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 Si es el guay, makes sense. So, why would you like to work? To go to work, right? To go to work tomorrow. So, por qué te gustaría ir a trabajar mañana? That's a very interesting question. <laughs> no me gustaría. I wouldn't like. I'm just kidding. I no, would. Porque mañana paga. Because tomorrow is payday. Would. You would. Okay. Esta pregunta es why. So, Ceci quiere saber por qué. Then, mi respuesta tendría que ser con because. Right? Tengo que darle una razón. I need to. Necesito encontrar una razón por qué quiero ir a trabajar. I said, if you go some poor, <laughs> I need the money. <laughs> I need to pay the bills. <laughs> I need to pay the bills. That's a good one. <laughs> okay. Because, because I one. need to travel. Ah, because I need to travel. Porque debo pagar los, los, los préstamos. <laughs> That's a really good reason, a good motivation. Para quienes tienen gatos and, and dogs, right? Because we need to pay for the food of the cat, of the dogs. Oh, yeah, that's teacher, a good yeah, one. yeah. Okay, that's a good one. Let me take a look. Uh, so, the Lila says, Where do you want to have dinner tonight? Okay, okay, that's okay. The Lila, eso está super bien, pero también el do, el do que tiene por ahí, where do. Lo podemos cambiar con would para que suene como una invitación. Where would you like to have dinner tonight? ¿A dónde te gustaría, right? Where would you like to... Ah, ya la cambié. Never mind. <laughs> that's okay. What would you like to study in the... Ah, that's a good question. What would you like to study in the university? Okay. Guys, ¿qué les gustaría estudiar? What would you like to study? I'm going to copy the questions. They are very good questions. Let me just copy this one. I'm going to erase this. Where would you like to travel? Okay, where would you like to travel? Yes, where, where would you like to go? What would you like to do on vacation? When would you like to go to Germany, would you like to take the lunch with me? Okay, okay, that's all right. I'm gonna copy this one. Mm, solo creo que la Germany no aplica. That wouldn't apply. Would you like to play soccer with me? Ah, okay, Juan, well, that's a very good question. Aunque es una invitación, right? Suena como una especie de eh, invitation. That's very specific. Okay, guys, any más preguntas? Do you have more questions? 
Um, I'll give you one more minute. Escríbanlas en el chat, please. Write them in the chat. Just let me, um, let me check si tienen algunas para copiarlas acá y luego las practicamos. So we can practice those. Would you like to go to the party? Where? <laughs> okay, wait, uh, sir. Is that an example or is that like for real? Example, teacher. No, hombre, <laughs> mis, es que, es que no me digan de salir de parties que ya voy. <laughs> That's a really nice way to see. Would you like to go to the party? Okay, let's just modify it. Would you like to go to my birthday party? Oh. Where would you like to go in the world? Okay, I'm gonna cut with this one. Oh, I would like to travel around the world. Okay, guys, so very nice job with this. We have a couple of questions. Tenemos un par, you know, eh, para hablar as much as we want. So very good job with this. Now let's practice them. La mayoría de estas preguntas, de hecho todas, son preguntas de información. So um, vamos a dar obviamente respuestas grandes, right? Respuestas largas. Because we are asking. Solamente recordemos que con el why, si me preguntes why, yo tengo que utilizar because para mi respuesta, porque me está pidiendo eh, una justificación, right? Que yo le diga por qué. Um, las demás no tienen una respuesta específica, pero ustedes pueden utilizar cualquier cosa, eh, cualquier estructura que quieren. I want to. Eh, presente simple, or utilizamos perfectamente I would like to para expresar qué les gustaría, a dónde les gustaría, right? So, no vamos a escribir respuestas. We are not going to uh, write answers, guys. Y vamos a hacer lo siguiente. The next activity, esta estructura está bien fácil. It's very easy. Pero quiero que vayamos siendo un poco más independientes, right? So, lo que vamos a hacer es the following. No escriban las respuestas. Don't write the answer to the questions. Solo quiero que intenten decir su respuesta de una sola vez. And utilicen eso. No lo traduzcan. Don't translate it. Sino de una sola vez. Oh, um, por ejemplo, what would you like to study in the university? Um, in the university, I would like to study de una sola vez. Yo le agrego el verbo y ya me voy, right? Eh, y no lo vamos traduciendo. So, porque si lo traducen, guys, eh, nos vamos a trabar. We're going to like eh, get stuck a lot. And intentemos dar respuestas full English, right? Intentemos no usar español. Vamos poco a poco. Vayan ayudando si les cuesta mucho. O si no saben cómo decir algo, no hay problema. Ayúdense, right? So, you can always help each other. So, give me one second. Vamos a ir eh, cinco minutitos más, eh, cinco o seven minutes, para que podamos practicar y responder estas preguntas, right? Please, no las escriban. Tal vez pueden escribir solo, um, we can write solamente palabras nuevas, pero no las respuestas de las preguntas, right? So, guys, tenemos cinco minutos, five minutes. Let's go to the groups and just speak English, please. Just English. Intenten, guys, despacito, but try to say it in English. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to share my screen. And there you go.
All right, guys. So thanks a lot for coming back. I think it was super uh, productive. <laughs> that was actually very nice, a very nice practice because I heard a lot of information. So very good job. Guys, eh, de las preguntas que tenemos acá, ¿les costó eh, encontrar la forma de responderla? Or, you know, ¿tuvieron dificultades con alguna de ellas? ¿O no se comprendió alguna? It was no. easy. It was easy, right? Yeah, it's a piece of cake. I really like it. Y lo, lo que me encanta es que este tipo de preguntas me da la posibilidad de responder de forma bien amplia. So no solo voy a decir yes, no, <laughs> sino que puedo dar más. I can give a lot of information, a lot of detail. All right, guys. Unfortunately, la clase se nos pasó el tiempo ya. It's gone. It's over. And that has been really fast. So, solamente como comentario, eh, here guys, el día de mañana tenemos la finalización de la sesión número dos. En, por lo tanto, la plataforma eh, tendría que estar actualizada al mínimo, right? En la parte número dos. Si me ayudan con eso, please. Los que ya avanzaron, guys, pues no se preocupen, right? Pueden eh, continuar con el resto y si la pueden terminar, pues no hay ningún problema. No problem with that. Eh, let me take attendance, guys. Solo me ayudan un momentito con su cámara. Me regalen confirmación verbal. And uh, let me see here. I have Mr. Reyes. Present teacher. Gracias. Uh, I have Ceci. Present me. Gracias. Cesar. Ah, Cesar creo. Ah, dijo que iba a trabajar. He's working today. Uh, I have Yvonne. Present teacher. Thank you. Dalila. Present Miss. Thank you. I have Ivan. Ivan was here. Present. Thank you, Joel. I got Jonathan. Present teacher. Gracias, Jonathan. Thank you. I got Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you. Todos los días lo veo diferente, Juan. <laughs> <laughs> Creo que la cámara está en ya. Juan Antonio se parece a un compañero de trabajo. Really? Yes. No, es que, es que de repente, you know, with the cameras, I'm like, wait, es otra persona. Al principio lo miro como un anime, ¿verdad? Y después lo veo. Yeah. Oh, quizás es por eso. Probably it's because of the picture. Ok, Juan Carlos, nuestra maestra por ahí. Creo. Here. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Present teacher. Thank you. I got, oh my God, it's not here. And Catherine, as she said, I'm connected. I got Maynor. Gracias, Maynor, for acompañarnos. Uh, Sandra. Present. Thank you. I got Silvia Stella. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. And Silvia Ines. Creo que la vi. I think I saw her. Silvia, Silvia, Silvia. La vi hace un momento. Okay. She's gone. Okay. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot for the attendance. That has been a very, very nice attendance. And uh, solo si me ayudan con el one on one. Dalila, si me regalo un par de minutos, se lo agradeceré. Guys, <laughs> gracias, Jorge. I love the, the animation over there. <laughs> Okay, guys, okay, so nos vemos you. mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Problem. Yeah, I in, in, in number the in the same number four. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I put the answer, but Mr. is wrong. Mm -hmm. But okay. I put the picture in the chat. Ah, okay, the okay, WhatsApp. perfect. Okay, perfect. Right. So uh, I can I can um, mention that to the guys. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank Hopefully you. we Bye. can solve that. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Gracias, Miss, por quedarse. Le voy a robar un par de minutitos para la sesión de One on One. Eh, normalmente lo tenemos, Ray, right, para ver si hay algún tema que necesitemos reforzar o clarificar. Eh, quiero aprovechar para, para um, revisar un poquito parte de lo que hemos tenido so far. En, well, quiero agradecerle a Miss por la attendance. Creo que tenemos una attendance súper buena, a excepción de los, de, las, de los días que me imagino que se acaba trabajando, pero aún así, you know, está conectada, so you're there, you're participating. Y, y eso es bien bonito porque es como saber que usted le está metiendo el 100% a este proyecto, right? And, uh, y está comprometida con, con usted misma. So it's really, really nice. Eh, con eh, la attendance, that's it. Eh, mm -hmm. Con las tareas también. I was checking and let me see here. Um, creo que revisé la semana anterior y ya estaba completa la 1. Eh, solamente nos faltaría esto. No he revisado again. Eh, por si, no sé si tiene el mismo problema que los chicos o si ha tenido dificultades. Let me know too. And... Uh, um, y con la participación, I really like it. Eh, de repente la escuchaba calladita los primeros días, pero me gusta mucho que, like, little by little, eh, you're participating more. So you always try to participate, to give ideas, to give opinions. So it's really, really nice. So um, yo sí percibo como ese progreso, right? Un poco más de confianza también al momento de hablar, and that's really good. Uh, sí. Now tell me, dígame cómo se siente, how do you feel? Es que hay muchas cosas que me cuesta más que todo con el vocabulario y como, bueno, es que yo le voy a ser honesta. Okay. A mí me hicieron una prueba este, para ponerme en este módulo, pero yo ya había estudiado hace como para el tiempo de cuarentena, entonces como que a veces las cosas como que se me van. ¿Ya se le olvidaron? Mm. Ah, ok, pero eso es normal, es súper normal. Normalmente nuestro cerebro almacena información por seis meses. Después de seis meses, como si no lo practica, si no lo utiliza de forma diaria, es normal que se nos va a olvidar, ¿verdad? Right? Entonces lo único que hay que ir haciendo es como eh, refrescando un poco. la like, refreshing information. Ese palabras, tal vez con gramática no tenga mayores problemas, pues la gramática es una estructura. Pero con vocabulario, tal vez al momento de decirlo, de hablarlo, right? o al momento de participar, eh, es donde nos da más miedo de ya se me olvidó cómo se dice, but es, es, es parte del proceso, right? So, eh, ¿está haciendo algo para ir recordando más vocabulario? Are you doing anything? Or... Eh, sí, estoy escuchando música en inglés y las ah, palabras okay. que, no, que no entiendo las busco. Y busco su significado para poder saber. Ah, ok. What kind of music? What kind of music do you listen? Sí, escucho la música de Vanessin. También escucho este, las de Cristina Aguilera, que también canta en español, pero canta en inglés. Entonces okay. hay unas canciones que son casi similares y puedo más o menos entender. De igual manera, hay música cristiana que también está en inglés y también yes. yo las canto en español. Entonces, no. es como que eso me ayuda bastante. que me iba a decir, la canto en inglés. <risa> ah, no, but music, esa es una muy buena estrategia, you know, listening to music. Um, sí les recomiendo hacer el cambio. Si le escuchan en español, uh, cántenle en inglés, you know, or si le escuchan en inglés, obviamente, intente eh, también, eh, you know, sing it in English. O tal vez si no la va a cantar, lea, busque la letra, right? Look for the lyrics y léala. Eh, como, como, como cuando leemos un libro or something. Porque eso le va a ayudar con la pronunciación. That's going to help with pronunciation. <risa> y al momento de revisar el vocabulario de qué es esta palabra y usted la repite, automáticamente algo pasa en nuestro cerebro, right? Y va a ser más fácil recordarlo. Eso eh, sí funciona. A I mí, mean, you know, I really love music. En una de las cosas que quizás eh, me ayudó mucho, yo tenía mi, mi cuaderno de, de música, no de música, no, de letra de canciones, you know, so, uh, porque yo aprendo escribiendo, entonces yo las copiaba, so I copied them, en, y iba buscando como se lo hace las palabras que no conocía, so encuentra la forma que se le haga más fácil, right? Because eh, inglés no tiene que ser una quebradera de cabeza de, oh my God, this is so hard. <risa> 
si, no, si le gusta la música, encuentre algo relacionado con música que le sea más fácil. Eh, pronunciar funciona mucho, grávese, cante, grávese, escúchese, compare la pronunciación de ambas cosas. And, and that's a really good technique. That's really, really nice. Eh, aparte de eso, like, ¿cómo se siente en el, en el módulo? Eh, siente que, you know, um, sí va, va recordándose de las cosas, va mejorando, tiene más confianza ya al, al dar opiniones. How do you feel? Sí, tengo más confianza en responder. Creo que al principio me costaba bastante porque como que era, ok. Tengo no se recordaba tiempo. muy bien. Ah, sí, ok, ya. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh pero ahora ya me siento un poco más en confianza y sí me recuerdo la, una parte, no toda, de lo que había estudiado con anterioridad. ¿Hace qué módulo llegó? Yo solamente llegué hasta el 4. <risa> ah, a ese mismo, la like, that's one. Ok, ok. Mm -hmm. No, but, but that's ok, you know, eh, entre, entre más lo repita, o si el módulo se vuelve a repetir, you know, eh, entonces el enfoque ya no es gramática, eh, sino ya está speaking, right? So, entonces vamos haciendo el cambio de, ok, ya sé qué es el would like, ahora lo voy a usar, ahora lo voy a aplicar, ya no lo voy a escribir, sino que solo voy a intentar hablar. Entonces, eh, ya, yeah, I mean, hagamos eso, vayamos eh, practicando, porque creo que ahorita lo que vamos a ir haciendo es solo recordándonos del vocabulario, sobre todo, recordándonos los temas, eh, eh, like, cómo hablar de eh, actividades en pasado, how to review past. Por cierto, ¿cómo está con los pasados? ¿Si ¿Sí se recuerda de ellos? Do you remember them? Es el... Has. Como go, go, went, have, had. El pasado de have es has. Has. El has. No, has. No. No, no esa es tercera persona. Like, I have a dog, my sister has a dog. Pero pasado sería, she had a dog. She had. Yes, H-A-D. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues sí, estoy perdida. <laughs> ok, bueno, no, it's ok, it's totally fine. Eh, le, les voy a compartir una lista, de hecho, que no lo he hecho todavía, I haven't done it, para que los recuerde un poquito, porque los pasados eh, es como, como hay que memorizárselos, right? Because tenemos que memorizarlos, puede que cueste un poquito. So, irregular. Irregular verse. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente, Dalila, para que se vaya recordando un poquito, especialmente con los irregular verbs. Eh, le voy a pedir que para el día lunes, for Monday. Sí, para Monday. So, for Monday, eh, se aprenda los primeros cinco del listado que le voy a enviar ahorita. So, okay. Solo los primeros cinco porque vamos a, a aprendérnoslo, pero bien, you know, like, eh, que, no se le, que no se le olviden. Oh, Déjenme buscar el listado, because I have lost it. And, uh, ya se lo envío. And, uh, el día bueno, lunes no. se los pregunto. Si a mí se me olvida, usted recuérdeme, please. Bye. Porque, porque igual vamos a revisarlos a, a little bit, ¿ok? Pero gracias, Miss. Cualquier duda, cualquier pregunta que tenga, eh, me puede escribir en el chat, me puede escribir en el grupo, right? Con gusto revisamos. Y okay. eh, con la plataforma, si tiene dificultades con el ejercicio 2, let me know, porque algunos no les está tomando las respuestas o para que no le vaya a afectar con la nota, right? So, thank you for the time. Sigue haciéndolo como lo viene haciendo, you know, and, and I'm sure that you're going to have like a very good performance at the end. So, okay. Thank you, Dalila. Gracias por el tiempo. And I'll you. see you tomorrow. Igual. Have a good Bye. night. Bye-bye.